guys welcome back uh today i think uh we have a very special blog uh i was finally able to pick up this uh project car or a dream car of mine that i was i always wanted for so long and ever since i was a kid i always wanted this car uh, the opportunity came up i was able to to purchase it unfortunately something had to go if you guys uh follow me on instagram uh, you guys would know that my E46 sedan sold, uh, but like I said, what replaced it was the ultimate vehicle for me. It's a dream car I was have always wanted. Uh, like I said, the car is n in no show co car quality. It doesn't need a lot of work. It was somebody else's project, but I was able to acquire it for a good amount here in town. And uh, I'm finally gonna show you guys what it is. And uh, like I said, I have a lot of plans for it this year coming up. Hopefully we can uh, do some other mods to it. Who knows, I don't know yet what, what my plans are for it. Uh, it does start and drive. Uh, the paint is not that good. But uh, this is a very, uh, very good, uh, this is a very good uh, goal for mine that I finally accomplished. It might be small, but this is something that was in my goal board. And uh, yeah, guys, so I'm going to show you guys what replaced it. So yes guys, this is a 2003 BMW M3. This is what replaced the E46 uh, sedan project I had. I picked this up back in June, I believe, or July. I'm not sure here in town. I believe I got the cheapest uh, M3 and that being a six speed manual, true manual. Uh, you guys can see it has Alcantara seats. The front one is, of course, a little bit damaged. We're gonna eventually replace or fix that. Uh, Alcatara steering wheel, seats. Yeah, and the door cards, you guys can see. True M3. Um, it does need work. Like I said, it starts runs. It's a bit dirty because it's just been stored here in my garage. Um, I did just recently buy those wheels for this car. Uh, I believe there's Apex wheels. Uh, my correct, uh, my, I might end up putting the information down here. Uh, but yeah, they're 18s. Uh, we'll put the specs right now down here. I do plan on doing more blogs on this and slowly repairing all the small little issues that the car does have. Hopefully by summer, we should be rolling in this. Uh, like I said, the paint job will get uh, removed off this car. Possibly just sand it down for now. Who knows, maybe I'll wrap it. I don't know yet, but at the moment, I will be fixing the sagging in front and then the rear. Uh, the front bumper and rear bumper are sagging on this car. So unfortunately, uh, that has to get fixed and addressed. But uh, overall, the car is in good overall shape. Mechanically wise, it does shift perfectly. Engine sounds healthy, no issues at all whatsoever. 
Uh, but yeah, guys, this will be the next project on my channel. Uh, so if you guys want to stay tuned and see what we end up doing with this thing, maybe by the end of the year of next year coming up of 2023, we might be rolling in this, guys, and uh, cruising and whatever we can with it. I do plan on getting this done this summer. We do get this thing up and running and fixing all the problems and addressing everything that it has. <clears throat> I do plan on doing maintenance on the engine. I do need to see the rod bearings. I need to check vinyls, rod bearings. Uh, so, so eventually everything that needs to be addressed on an M3 engine. Uh, this M3 cars, so overall E46 chassis, it is uh, only there, the sufferings crack on these things. Uh, overall good thing though, I don't have to reinforce the subframe on this, it has already been done by the previous uh, owner on this car. So that's a good plus right there. Uh, yeah, the car sits perfectly, no issues whatsoever. Those tires will get removed. We don't, those are slicks. When I bought the wheels, they came with them. Uh, but yeah, guys, so just stay tuned. Hit that like and subscribe and uh, see what we end up doing with this thing. So as always, have a good one, guys.